Good day students and welcome to biology class and today we have the segment of past question and solution. Senior Secondary School Certificate 2018. Let's start with the question one. The scientist that introduced binomial system of nomenclature is dash. What is the answer? The answer is Carlos Linus. So Charles Darwin is the scientist that uh, propounded the theory of evolution after the scientist Jean Lamarck. Then Carlos Linus is the scientist that propounded the theory of binomial system of nomenclature. Binomial system of nomenclature is the is scientific uh, or is the giving of an organism two names. The first name is called the genus. The first name is called the genus. While the second name is called the species. We have the genus and we have uh, the species. Genus is generic name, while the species is a specific name to that particular organism. So good. Let's give an example of um, of an organism. Then we attach the genus name and the specific name to that particular organism. For example, you have human being. Human being has the name Homo sapiens. Homo. Homo sapiens. So when you combine both the generic name and the specific name, they form what is called the scientific name. So let's go to, and don't forget that Carlos Linus is a Swedish biologist. Now we have the John Ray, it's not, it's not an answer at all, he's, a, he's an English philosopher, okay, or English naturalist. Then we have Louis Pasteur, he's a scientist that actually discovered the process of pasteurization and also vaccination. So what is pasteurization? Pasteurization is the process by which you decrease or increase the temperature of the milk by killing the pathogens. By killing the what? The pathogens or the disease causing microorganisms inside the milk. Now let's go to the second question. Which of the following statements is not true about the arthropods? Yes. Let's see the answer. Yes. We have prothorax bears only leg, mesothorax bears only legs, mesothorax bears only wings, and prothorax bears only wings. Yes, the answer is the prothorax bears only wing. In an insect, or what are arthropods? Arthropods is the largest group of invertebrates, and the largest class under the phylum or the group arthropod is the insect. So a typical arthropod or insect has three divisions of the body. The first one is called the head. So let me draw it because of time. So you're going to see that Protoras bears only wing is not an answer to this particular question. So let's give an example. We have the head. We have um, the thorax. Thorax is, is something, is a chest, okay? Then we have um, the abdomen. We have the abdomen. So this is the head, and the head as well is called the compound compound eye, then we have the antenna attached to the head, then the next thing is for us to draw the walking legs, because of time let's just turn, have it like this, so we can see that this is the head, that's the first part, then this is the thorax, that is the chest, that's the chest, and we have the abdomen, so this is a typical insect, for example we have the cockroach, so each of the segment of the chest, the thorax, the, uh, it has uh, the leg, okay? So we have uh, a pair of leg in each of the segments, making a total of how many leg? This is the first segment. The first segment is called the pro, it's called the prothorax. The next segment is called the, that's the middle, meso is always the middle, don't forget that. It's called the mesothorax, okay? While the last segment is called the what? The meta. Thorax. The first segment is going to be left, while the middle and the last segment we have the wings. We have the wings in the middle segment, and we have the wing in the in the last segment called the metathorax. So that means that the first segment called the prothorax does not bear the wing, and that is why we have chosen the option. Which of the following statement is not true about the atro parts? So, let's move to the next question. Let's move to the next question. Last number three. Which level of organization is Pyrogyra? 
The answer is tissue. So why is the sparagera belonging to the, why does it belong to tissue? Because we know that tissue can be defined as the a combination of different related cells to perform a similar function. So what is a tissue? And that's the definition of a tissue. So the spirogera, as we know generally, belongs to the filamentous organisms. It's a filament. And what's a filament? It's a filament or filaments are cylindrical cells that are connected end to end by intercellular walls. So let me just give you a typical example or a structure of General structure of um, of spirogera. General structure of spirogera. So, a spirogera is a multicellular organism, and when cells come together, they form what is called tissue. Therefore, the spirogera belongs to the tissue level, and all functions are performed by this particular spirogera, except reproduction. Reproduction is performed separately. And spirogera, mind you, cannot, cannot work. Therefore, the spirogera belongs to the tissue level of organization. Number four, the streaming movement of cytoplasm within paramecium is dash. The streaming movement is called cy. You will have even seen it in the options cyclosis. Okay? Cyclosis can also be called cytoplasmic. Cytoplasmic. Streaming. So, the what is cyclosis and what is cytoplasmic streaming? It is the movement of the jelly-like fluid inside the cytoplasm. Okay, and the movement is so important that it helps to move different organelles and the food materials from one place to the another. Thank you so much. We'll meet in the next class.